good afternoon, dear viewers. I'm happy to welcome you on Savalmas channel. This is Alexander Sudorov as always, and today we have a report from the scene of events. We are standing on the left side of Savalmash, of the Designer Technological Bureau Savalmash. Here we see a trench that has already been buried. This shows that the communications for telemetry, low current networks and other things have been completed, and I congratulate you on that. Work continues in the building to form the piping, and welding work is underway. From the back of the building, we can see the crushed stone storage area. You can also see that a rather large hole has been buried. It has already been filled with sand. Soil compaction has been done. And now we can see the laying of pipes that will circulate ethylene glycol which will help our climate system to work. As you have already realized, the number of laid and installed pipes is getting bigger and bigger every day. Now we are close to the individual heating unit. Here we observe the automation connection cabinet. The heat pipe work is at a fairly high level of readiness. Let's go inside and see what has happened there in the meantime. What we see is that most of the work has already been done, and we can observe the gauge readings. We can see the pressure that already exists. We see the residual water that has appeared as a result of certain types of work. Let's come over here. And look at the pressure gauges. All these indicators show that the heating main has been installed, brought into the building and is already pressurized. Just in a few days we'll have to fulfill certain bureaucratic procedures, sign documents, and we can say that the heating main is ready and functioning. Of course, it will now work through the coffer dam. Then we need to distribute the heat throughout the building. But nevertheless, this is a very important and responsible step that we were able to realize. And we can say that we are one step closer to the moment when the building will work with the central heating system in winter. Performing this kind of work requires a certain ingenuity and solving a number of nuances that arise in the process. We also faced a challenge. Our heating mains are not small, are not short. There are special compensators, elbows. And as a result of the connection, there was a blowout in the system. We encountered an airlock. But thanks to the experience of our team, the airlock was overcome. The system is now under the necessary pressure and is fully functional. I congratulate all of us on that once again. And now we have moved to the administrative and utility building. Finishing work is being done here, and now we are already working on tiles. As you can see, the degree of readiness of these rooms is already quite high. 
And here is the first office, where the walls have already been painted, though only in one layer, but nevertheless, the office of the chief engineer is already getting a finished look. Here in the most part of the space, tiles have been laid and the seating is painted. And each office has its own individual solution, somewhere they are grey, in the showroom, exhibition space, they are black. And in the rooms where our guests stay, we have chosen other color solutions. Let's walk around a bit more. Here we will see a room that is no less important for the future life of the enterprise than a server room, for example. Because here is the control room. Here will be monitors, security point. And control of the whole building will be carried out from this room. Let's also see what will be mounted here next. In these places there will be glass partitions to separate different spaces. You can also see the different tiles. On one side is grey and in the exhibition space is black. So stylistically certain zones will be created here with a certain meaning to them. But in this part, there will be turnstiles for control and access function. There will also be a door, the so-called turnstile again, which will isolate cold air flows so that the building will not be overcooled. There will be another particularly important room here. It already stands out with this design. The first row of tiles has already been laid, it is also black here, the ceiling is black and the connections are also painted black. This will be a cafeteria, where every employee will be able to come, drink coffee, eat a bun and enjoy the working day. There is another important event that is just as important as the launching of the heating mains. We are now looking at the pit through which the piercing under the roadway will be carried out. And the work to drill is about to begin. All the necessary equipment has already been lowered down, the booms have been lowered, now the commissioning is underway. This giant syringe is being assembled, as we call it, and we will witness how our stormwater drainage system will be connected to the central networks of Technopolis, Moscow. This means that in the near future our building will be able to function with connected engineering networks. I congratulate all of us on that. In parallel with this work, preparation of the section of the heating main for laying asphalt is happening. There we will have to dig another trench and lay utilities to connect cold water. But the main preparatory work will already be done. The ground will be compacted and backfilled with sand. Now the heavy construction equipment is driving around and performing its tasks related to this work. It seems that not much time has passed since the visit of representatives of partners from different countries to the construction site. However, there are already a lot of changes in technical terms. Nevertheless, we need to increase the pace, accelerate and supply heat to the building by winter. And of course, to finish the landscaping of the territory. In order not to miss the most important news of the project Sovelmash, be sure to subscribe to our social networks and be aware of everything that happens in the life of the project. Thank you for your attention, for your time, for your participation and see you soon.